Good morning, my friend, and welcome to the continuation of Summer in the Psalms. Hey, I want to echo many of your responses of having Mr. Countryman with us this past week. Many of you said, I could really listen to Jack for hours on end, and I would agree. I've been truly blessed over the years to sit at the feet of Jack, to listen to wisdom and guidance and challenge and truth and Truly, truly a, a major blessing in my life, as you can now see why. Uh, guys, I want to take you back about three years at this time in the summer. Uh, Leslie, Micah, Leslie's family typically do a vacation uh, middle of summer to Priest Lake, Idaho. Absolutely gorgeous lake, pristine, and it was really a time that uh, we were transitioning in the ministry from a church model, uh, more toward a discipleship model at clubs, uh, really focusing in discipling men in the Word of God. And it was a super quiet time as I continued to sought after the Lord. In fact, one morning I was at the end of the dock, super early, the water was so peaceful and calm, and it was at a, at a just a waiting time on God for the direction for the future of the ministry. It's been a great 10 years working with the churches. We were able to host 216 golf tournaments, over 18,000 men played, and 726 men raised their hand to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Man, I just give God all the glory and the honor for that. However, we felt like we needed to make a shift as churches were starting to trim the men's ministry budget. And we were, I was just seeking after the Lord for months. And that one morning, as the water was so pristine, I said, God, you just seem so quiet. I'm seeking you. I want your heart's direction for the next 10 years for the ministry. And, and just sat there in that silence and... I don't know about you, I've never heard God audibly speak to me, but in my heart of hearts, this is what I heard. My son, as you look at the quietness of the waters, I am working at the depths of these waters to prepare your heart and your mind to where we're taking you. And let me remind you, my son, I parted the Red Sea for my people to escape out of the slavery that they were in. You just need to trust me. It's my timing, not yours. Guys, I about fell off the deck into that quiet waters. And it was just weeks later where God really started to continue to speak, continue to show us that if it was to disciple one man, if it was to come alongside a guy like you and help grow your relationship with Jesus, it would be so worth it. And that was our mindset three years ago, and that's still our mindset today. It's all worth it for the one guy. So today's verse, as we jump into Psalm 77, just brought me back to that story. And it's a bit emotional where I really see where God has brought us since then. All right, let's dive in. What chapter, what, I'm sorry, what verse in chapter 77 stood out to you? Mine was verse 16. Remember the story I just shared with you. The waters saw you, O God. The waters saw you and writhed. The very depths were convulsed. So that is verse 16. That's my G for gripping the word. And here's my R. What a miraculous picture of provision at a time of crisis. What is the Red Sea in my life that needs parting? As I go down to the I for the implementation, it is good to camp out in the miraculous stories told in the Bible. This is a great way to build up our own personal faith. My P as I prayed back to God was, Lord Jesus, I lay the In His Grip ministry before you and ask that your mighty 
right hand would open the hearts of men for your message of the gospel, the good news, Lord, penetrate it down into the depths of their souls. So that's me back in action, gripping with you. Psalm 77, verse 16. Would absolutely love to hear your verse. And guys, thank you so much again for continuing to like, like the videos with a little heart. Uh, also, subscribing to the Inscript channel here on YouTube would be really helpful. Just to, We're just watching God just expand and expand and expand his reach uh, through the ministry. And we, we, I give him all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. Let me close this with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much, God, that we can continue to come, to be, come together in your word as we just stroll through the summer in the Psalms. So rich, God, as we camp out, reading a chapter, allowing that verse to rise up off the page, and Lord, allow you to speak into the depths of our souls. Lord, continue to transform us into the men that you need us to be, to be all about building your kingdom here on earth. We ask this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. Bless you guys. I look forward to seeing